Hello everyone, I'm Polly and today I'm decorating the basement and attic of the resident representative house. I'm only going to show those two rooms because they're the big rooms in the house, you know. And I wanted to have something like a, a little surprise for the final tour because I literally showed every single thing on this island, like the whole process. Hey, Daisy May. And, uh, you know, I just wanted a little surprise that you have to wait to see uh, until next week when I upload the final tour of the Shianaka. So let's waste no more time and jump right on it. Starting off with the basement, I'm going to do a arcade in this room uh, because I think it's such an iconic thing in Japan, the arcades, that I, I definitely wanted to have one on this island and since I couldn't really transform any of the villager houses into an arcade and I think there wouldn't be enough space anyway so I decided to use the basement to build or make or whatever <laughs> decorated as an arcade and uh, this room is really loud when you visit if you visit there's going to be music going on and all the arcade games and all that and I think it's so fun um, I just used like all the arcade games that I could find, flippers and of course claw machines or brain machines um, because I think they're iconic. <laughs> I tried to make it a little um, cute, you know. I struggled a little bit with the wallpaper and flooring with this one, I'm not gonna lie. But I think it looks super adorable this way. And uh, I mean, I rarely use the Sanrio wallpapers. So I'm really glad that I got to use two Sanrio wallpapers on this uh, room. Uh, and yeah, I just put a bunch of stuff here. I thought the TVs could look cute, you know, just add a little bit more movement to the room i guess and height and um i tried to use a lot of uh, lights because something that's really cool in arcades i mean probably not all the arcades i've never been to an arcade to be on i mean i've been to kind of one but it wasn't like the Japanese ones, okay? <laughs> uh, but from the images that I saw, they have a bunch of cool lights there. I mean, or at least in some of them. Uh, so I tried to bring that energy to this space, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if there are like rugs on arcades, but I felt like the floor was just too white, too empty, and I tried to add just a little something, you know, things don't need to be exactly like they are in real life. This is a game after all, and you can use your imagination to create new stuff. This is only inspired by Japan. This isn't like a replica, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the final result. So if you visit the island, don't forget to visit the basement of the house. And on the attic, there's going to be an Asian restaurant. I couldn't really decide if I wanted a sushi restaurant or a ramen restaurant or like another kind of Asian cuisine going on here. So I just went like all in, <laughs> right? Uh, at first, I wanted to have more tables, but you can't really expand the rooms too much. And I mean, these are the biggest rooms in the house. So I, I literally had to use the things that I had, like to the best of my ability, <laughs> you know. Um, I wish we could have like ginormous rooms in this game because some items are so big, like these ta round tables that are so cool looking. And I feel like... I think this is the first time that I've used these tables in builds. I'm not sure, but I love them. I think they look so cool. Um, and since I didn't have a lot of space for tables and I honestly didn't have a lot of tables available on my storage or at least tables that would look cool here. 
Uh, I just went for the boots. Uh, I I like I like them. Like I like the vibe of this restaurant. It's not too fancy, but it's not like a cheap restaurant either. And um, I think it looks really cool. I went with dark tones, but trying to break the dark tones with greens. I love to do that. And the, those cherry blossom branches or whatever they're called. <laughs> I love that item. And I think it's the perfect pop of color because it's so neutral. But at, at the same time, it is like such a different color here. And then this item that I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it has a little pop of pink as well, but it's really green. I just, I really like these little details with the colors. I think they make a space look so more in much more interesting. I don't know, more interesting. <laughs> um, and overall, I just went with very neutral colors, dark tones, these lamps are lanterns i guess are a little bit more different than the rest but i like these subtle breaks uh, in the color scheme these lamps also are lanterns uh, also had little pops of pink and for the festival lanterns i went with the crest because you know it's just neutral there's not like colors going on and i think those look perfect and of course the green uh, uh, pillow variation of these chairs is just perfect to include here and then i went with the, the um, reddish tone for the light and i think it gives like such a good ambience to this area you know i really like how this turned out and uh, i guess you'll have to see what i have planned for the other rooms in my house I know this was a short video, but I don't. I, I had to have something to surprise you with for the final tour, right? I can show you all right away. <laughs> but thank you so, so much for watching. I'm kind of sad that the island is done, but at the same time, I, I'm super excited to start working on a new island. And there's a poll right now where you can vote for the next theme for my island. So please go check it out on the community tab. And if you haven't watched the other videos on Toshi Inaka, there's a whole playlist. The island is literally done. So be sure to check every part of the building process before you watch the final tour, because then the tour has a different impact, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today and for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.